Hey guys, what's up? It's Rocket 64 here, and uh, a few hours ago, I uh, just finished watching uh, Trailer Park Boys Season 10, and I am going to be doing a review on it. Now, to give you an idea of how big of a fan I am, let me show you something. I know I don't have a lot of the DVDs, but still, this should, like, this should be pretty good. And also, I got that Trailer Park Boys calendar. Um, but yes, I am a huge, 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 huge Trailer Park Boys fan. I've on it, to be honest, I've seen season nine four times. I've seen the entire series, except for season 10, twice, um, and then, like, I saw season 9 again on Christmas break when I was bored, and then I watched it again last night and finished it this morning so that I could get ready for season 10. Now, in all honesty, season 10 was a very good season for Trailer Park Boys, but it was a bit emotional and depressing. In some places, I'm not going to say what. Let me just say, the ending of the season will leave you with a huge cliffhanger. Trust me on that. Because honestly, you're like you're going to want season 11 to come out like right the f now. Because once you see the cliffhanger that they did. But we have to wait a whole year for season 11 to come out. But... Like, you know, even though, like, the depressing and the somber moments, I didn't really like those, but the thing is, I binged, like, the entire season. Um, well, like, actually, I, uh, binged, like, the first, like, eight episodes, then I went out to the store, then I finished nine, and episodes nine and ten when I got back. Um, yeah, so... Like it's, it's it was a very good season, even though like there was some like some sad and somber moments. Um, but yeah, so basically, like the start of the season, like Julian owns the trailer park, and then uh, Barb, Donna, and somebody else named Candy, uh, comes in, and. Um, says that, um, she is, like, gonna buy the park back, and that Julian has to go to court, and that Julian has, uh, ten days before he has to go to court, and that's basically what happens in the first episode, and, like, you know, the thing is, like, what was really funny was one of my friend Jason, he, um, I was 12 minutes into the first episode of the 10th season, and he t and at that time he texted me saying I just finished season ten. Now, it's like again like I really don't want to spoil anything, but the the season finale will leave you, will leave you with a huge cliffhanger, and you are going to wonder what the hell is going to happen. And uh, in case you're wondering, like, is there even gonna be a season eleven? Yes, there is because. Like, I read on, like, a website that they had confirmed that seasons 10 and 11 were a go before season 10 came out. Now, there are some really good cameos in this, it, like, in the, in, like, in a few of the episodes. I'm not gonna say what they are, but if you've seen the trailer, then you'll know who at least one of them is. But... You know, like, this was a, like, this was a really good season, even though, like, I thought it was, like, I didn't like the depressing and sad moments. Like, yeah, I, I just don't want to say anything, because I want you guys to enjoy this season. Um, but yeah, so, like, I don't really know what to say. There's gonna be, like, a kind of a shorter review, but, like, it was, like, it's really funny. Of course, you got Ricky saying all the funny stuff that he says, and, like, um... Yeah, so, like, it's it's pretty funny, I will say, but, like, you know, there are some depressing and sad moments in this season, just, just so you know that, um, but, yeah, so, like, just, just, like, just take that into mind, 
I liked most of the episodes, although, as I said, some of them... I'd say, like, the last two episodes of the season were quite sad um, and depressing, and definitely in some moments. So, it, like, if I had to say my least favorite episodes of the season, I'd say the last two are my least favorite. But the first eight episodes of the season are just absolutely great and fantastic. And even though I really didn't like the sad and the somber moments, I am going to give Trailer Park Boys Season 10 an A. I would have given Season 10 an A+, plus had the last two episodes not been so sad and depressing. But it is a great season to binge on, and I highly recommend you guys watch it. I highly recommend you guys watch the entire series. But just saying, you, like, Trailer Park Boys isn't really a show that you can just go into a random episode and just watch. You have to watch the entire season for one episode to make sense. Um, because, like, unless you've seen the entire series from season 1 to season 10, then you can just go into any episode randomly and you can laugh. But if you've never seen an episode before, just don't go right into, um... Or like a random episode, and just and and then just watch it because you're not gonna have a clue what the hell is going on. You're not gonna have a clue what is going on. So start like if you want to watch a specific season, start at the beginning of the season. But I highly recommend you guys watch the entire series. Also, one of the reasons I like Trailer Park Boys is it is Canadian, and I'm from Canada, which is a uh, which is pretty cool and. Um, also, what was really cool is I heard at, at the Halifax Army Base, uh, Leahy and Randy actually visited the Halifax Navy Base, and actually, um, one of my friends told me that Leahy and Randy actually visited um, Duncan, which I know a lot of you are not going to know what that is, but Duncan is a town in British Columbia where I live, and it's about an hour, hour and a half drive from where I am. And they just came there to visit because apparently they know a guy that owns a pawn shop there. And also, um, actually, uh, one of my friends um, who's in my film class, he told me that he's actually met Ricky. And his girlfriend said that his, that her stepmom is, uh, that her stepmom's met Bubbles and is friends with him on Facebook. So, I mean, you know, like, that's got to be pretty cool. But, um, yeah, so, so, all in all, very good season. Again, the last two episodes I didn't like. Because, well, of course I liked them, but they were, like, like, they had some really sad and somber moments in them. So just take that in consi into consideration, and the season finale will leave you with a huge cliffhanger. But as I said, I'm giving Trailer Park Boys season 10 an A+. I would have given it an A plus if the last two episodes weren't so depressing, but anyway guys, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more content and remember you guys, whenever obsessing over Trailer Park Boys and whenever smoking dope and drinking rum with your buds, say no to drugs.